everybody this is dr apurv thank you dr nawful thank you dr shailesh being there do we have any other faculty nawful sir uh, as of now uh, nobody has joined sir fantastic so uh, i think i was listening to the interaction that uh, was going on and uh, we are happy that we have some students uh, uh, who were there last time and uh, many of them have passed and want to attend we already at uh, this particular time have crossed the number of registrations which we had last year so this year we are going to have more interaction i'll just show you that uh, what is the concept of uh, the pg course uh, that we want to get so this is the presentation that uh, has been made by uh, uh, my teams and uh, has been uh, carefully edited and supervised by Dr. Nawful. But more than that, I believe that uh, this presentation is uh, hard work of a lot of teachers and uh, blessings of generations and generations, you know. And we are blessed in uh, in conceptual orthopedics that uh, we have got uh, uh, pioneers of orthopedics of the country, you know, as, as you say. So what uh, I realize here is that uh, uh, we, we did this uh, in November 2021 and the course of 2022 is organized in uh, February, it will be on 10th to 12th of February in Delhi. It will be the same auditorium as the last time. And uh, the, the auditorium was uh, Siusha Auditorium, which was uh, there. And uh, there will be a lot of cases which will be there um, during that. And we have minimal talks. You know, the principle of uh, the, the postgraduate course of conceptual orthopedics is uh, we have very relevant talks. So the talks are going to be uh, I'll be talking about uh, three main talks here, which will be one by uh, Professor S.M. Tuli, sir, who will be talking on the first day on, on trauma. We'll be keeping the same model. And uh, there will be a talk on uh, spine and there will be a talk on, uh, on the hip examination. This is what we will have, right? We will also be having uh, the the session on the knee examination with demonstration on the patient uh, which will be pioneered by uh, by professor bhaseen and uh, you can see in this photograph we have uh, dr raju iswaran and dr shekhar shivartav so basically our all sessions which we have will be uh, will be taken care by by multiple faculties and uh, so what will be the the the, the uh, the structure of the course on day one, right, uh, will be mainly trauma. So, in that day, uh, it will be it will be uh, carefully drafted by the senior faculties. But principally, uh, the the program layout will be drawn by uh, Professor Shantaram Shetty sir, Professor Ajit sir, Dr. Shailesh Pai, uh, Dr. Fahim, and uh, along with the other faculties. But they are the main uh, brains behind the day one that is of 10th of february so 10th of february will be an inauguration and we'll have talks on trauma discussions about trauma the further layout will be displayed on the website but this was one day where last year we had lots and lots of interactions the the students they loved it they had uh, the the dr shalesh and dr fahim had made a beautiful telegram group where the whole day the students were kept engaged. And, you know, uh, normally in trauma courses or trauma parts, it's usually a one-sided channel where the, the speakers are speaking and showing their cases. What was different here was, it was a both side thing. So there, there were questions coming from the other side and answers being given uh, by the senior faculties. And uh, you will find this, this absolutely useful in your practice. There will be demonstration videos, and the principles, you know, they will teach you what to do, what not to do. These are the small things which will be there. And uh, all the senior faculties will be interacting with you, right? And then on uh, day two and day three, you know, we will be having lots and lots of cases here. The students will be given a chance uh, to see the cases. You have an access to the patients. They are, they are kept in a separate room where the discussion is going on, where a student can actually assess the findings, get ready in a real exam-like scenario, right? 
and uh, will be able to present the case in front of the audience and the teachers. You know, initially uh, there was apprehension, but finally, you know, as as we kept on uh, evolving, this was one of the most beautiful thing. You know, they were they were huge number of cases, difficult cases, difficult tests, and you know the senior faculties were actually. Uh, demonstrating you some of the the findings which are so vital you know because many a times you see and you learn but there's nobody to hold your hand and teach you but practically you know i remember this moment in the course where uh, you know this this is this is uh, professor dhal sir actually trying to speak showing you telescopy test you know i i just ask you many of you would have seen a non union case of uh, a proximal femur neck femur but has anybody actually told you where to see the telescopy how to perform it you know this this was a wonderful uh, i i i i have kept it in this presentation because this was something which was which was just breathtaking as a as a clinician you know, if you see this moment and if you learn where to build and where to do you know it makes a huge huge difference and this is one of the one of the wonderful it was one of the very wonderful uh, thing to see sir so doing it you know and then we had elbow cases we had uh, discussions on what images to do what is the next question a teacher can ask you so that a student is prepared you know and uh, what is the next expected clinical examination point you know like uh, you see a case of genu valgum and why would uh, why would on bending knee the valgum will disappear where in 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 extending the knee it appears you know these type of basic things and how to perform these tests means which component like if you if you flex the knee if if the femoral component is more prominent the valgus will not be visible and if on flexing it is the same it is the tibial component so you will know what exactly is the clinical significance how to correlate it with the images finally how to utilize that into your uh, practice now this is one uh, one uh, particular case where on the stage practically you know you were shown the block test and uh, and further the management you know personally we ended up learning about this case and when we me and nawful uh, ended up operating this patient you know we practically learned that uh, this is what our seniors taught us during that uh, course classical uh, avn their clinical findings because post covid you are expected with the steroid intakes you will expect that next one or two years three years you will have a lot of avn cases every year right then there were difficult cases which required a lot of uh, expertise and senior teachers to explain you right we we try to cover all the aspects the congenital the traumatic the sequelae the the malignancies right and different regions and what all to see what all to mark you know they were they were they were teachers throughout right and, and uh, some classical cases you are in india now again uh, these are the things that you know uh, how how to select these cases is also an art you know just not a patient is there a presentation is being taught to the students but also to get what kind of uh, uh the the cases right in front of the students because you know you might have uh, you might have unlimited knowledge you might have a lot of experience but practically you have just two days you know and in those two days you actually have to learn you know that uh, these are the exam relevant cases so that is the term so each case is was selected so that this is what you can actually expect in the exam so that you are actually pre being prepared for the it's like a rehearsal going on you know so how to correlate clinically and radiologically you have a foot drop so a teacher will tell you the patient has a foot drop has a history of back pain radiating what level of disc do you expect what nerve roots can be compressed and you know that is the level of discussion you know demonstrations in front of you uh, showing you that how to examine you know how to compare you know the classical mode of uh, the uh, the clinical examination look feel move and uh, measure compare these were very important things you know which were important and you will realize that one third of the patients that in any where you go for the 
the presentations will be pediatric ortho and so was the balance out with us you know and uh, so these are the things that you will see you you were asked to diagnose uh, the syndromes you could, we could get on some very common things the routine things and then we also had some rare presentations so in those rare presentations also our examiners were teaching that you might not have complete idea about the rare presentation but the, the, but then the external or the internal examiner just do not want to look at that basic thing they want to look beyond and they want you to see that how do you examine a normal patient right my suggestion if you want to prepare for the course read the examination book develop uh, this rule of uh, look feel move measure and compare right try to learn the art of clinical examination before arriving at what investigations to order if you know that what's your clinical diagnosis you actually will know what to order have all the spectrums in your mind of uh, non operative to operative or to have a supervised neglect what we say and then uh, you will be taught about how you must present your case how you must dress how you must uh, be handling and taking care of the patients and what is common you know the common sense which is the rarest thing to be present how to go with the common sense in the exam the final exam final aim is to be a good clinician you know this is what conceptual orthopedics aims at passing an exam is just a process you know that eventually will happen and then you know um, as you say you know nothing goes without awards so there are awards and you know in this pic uh, you can see this pic is something nostalgic right in the center we have professor gopa kumar sir and uh, we have released a book dedicated to him but in the score this is one thing which is uh, on uh, into my heart this is what i i wish to see and say and uh, now i'll i'll just uh, request that if you people feel right there is anything else we can actually do to make the course more useful you know and uh, since dr shailesh is here right uh, you can directly request him if you really need something in the in the in the trauma part because trauma part is practically we have uh, we have uh, uh just asked him to talk to doc professor shetty professor jeet and coordinate and do it and then discuss with the entire team and then in the clinical part uh, dr harpreet is there to take your suggestions dr nawful is there i am there and i will like to thank my entire team for making uh, such a beautiful presentation especially uh, mr chetan who has really worked very hard to present it and guided by ably guided by dr nawful and uh, uh, this is what i had to speak